Hey, my name is Jesus Castillo from rubyguides.com and in this video you're going to learn about Rails URLs, how to create a friendly URL with Rails and without using a gem. And you will understand exactly what is going on with the gem and you don't have to use it if you don't want to. So what is a friendly URL? Well, I have this application, which you might have seen before. And you see that these show buttons, when I click on them, we get a URL. It's cats one right? Or it's cats 2 You might want to change this instead of a number to have something that you can remember or can or the user can type more easily. To do that, we could we use a friendly URL. In fact, there is a gem called that, like that. But in here, there are no gems. We're doing it from scratch without the gem, and we're going to understand what's going on. So to do that, I have a Rails console here. Whoops, have a Rails console here this alias I have for Rails console, and this will allow us to experiment a little bit. So we can do app cat path for the first cat, cat uh, first. So let's see. Okay, so what is this? Well, cat path, uh, this is coming from the routes, right? I have a resource route in this application. Um, yeah, right there, um, route. Have the resource route, and that enables this kind of methods, cat path, um, this will generate the URL. That's the URL we see when you go to the index. This is the index page, or when you go to specific cat, and then you, you want to see it and edit it, right? So that's the URL. So where is this number one coming from? Well, the number one is coming from the ID, right? So if I get the first cut, you see it has ID one. So that's where this number is coming from. And if I use the second cut, the ID is two, so the URL is going to be two. Very simple to understand. So that's where this number is coming from, it's coming from the database and specifically it's coming from the ID attribute, which is created automatically for you when you create um, entries in the database. If you want to change this, for example, to the name, we can do this very easily without a gem. So let me show you how. We're going to go to the cat model because we're working with cats here. <laughs> so we have to go to the cat model. And we can do this if we go to the Rails documentation, we find this toParam method, toParam. And basically this is what Rails uses internally to generate the URL. So we can change this like the following to param. And in here we can choose what we want the URL to look like. If we want the name to be part of the URL, we simply do this. You see, it's very easy. It's just define this method inside the model that you want to change the URL for. So next, if I go back to my project, I reload and you will notice that the URL change. So now it's cats and the name of the cat. Cats, name of the cat, right? So that's what we wanted, but you will also notice we get an error. And that's fine because there is something else we need to change. This error is helping you understand what's going on. Specifically, we look at this red line that's highlighted 
And that's the line of code where the problem is. So why, why is this happening? It's happening because couldn't find cat with ID of the name of the cat, right? Because find the find method, if I go to the code, it's here, this is the controller. This is the cat's controller. If I go here, you will notice that we are finding by the ID, but we change this. We no longer have access to the ID from the URL because params, params is data that comes from the URL. We don't have the ID, so we have to change this, but we can't just change it to name because find expects an ID. As you can see, it expects an ID. So we can change this to where, or it would be better probably to do um, find by. Uh, if you don't know the difference, I have another video where I explain this. I also have an article on rubyguides.com where I go over the difference between where and find by. By the way, like this video if you like Ruby and subscribe to the channel if you don't want to miss on new videos. So I'm going to change this to find by name and then params name because now we have access to the name. If I save this, okay. And now we have a different error. So let's say, let's say. So this error is because I think this needs to be params ID. Yes, there it is. So the params, this ID because of the route. So every time you're working with the URL, it, it, it has to do with the routes. The routes is where the URLs are match with controllers. So we can make a change here if we want. It's optional. You can keep using params ID, but the default, the reason this has to be ID is that resource by default uses ID and it doesn't know anything about your two param method. So if we want to be able to change this, uh, there is an option which is param and then we can say name. Another parameter will be name. Uh, there we go, and it works. And of course we can change, uh, edit and everything. That's how that works. So the gem, like friendly ID gem, basically does this for you. It just makes it a little bit easier for you to do this. But you see that it's very simple, so you probably don't need the gem. Every gem that you add to your project, it adds maintenance work. You have to um, update, uh, if uh, update changes things, um, then it might break your application. So the less gems you use, the better. This case probably not necessary because you see it's very, it's very easy. You just define this method to param in your model. Then you need to change your, the way you find your records in the database to use the name. And that's it. Very easy as you can see. And now if I come here and I reload, you will notice that we get a new URL generated. Okay. So very easy to do. I hope you give this a try and let me know how it goes for you. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't, don't forget to click the like button for me and visit my website rubyguides.com. Thanks a lot for watching. I will see you in the next video.